Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic is grieving loss and celebrating victories. This is something that we do in clinic every single day. Today, uh, my heart's a little heavy. It was a, a really challenging clinic day, but as I reflect back upon it, I celebrated some serious victories with patients, and I grieved serious loss with others. And I wanted to share sort of the experience a little bit with you guys today. There's a young man, and he has struggled with breakthrough disease despite very aggressive therapies in the past. And a couple years ago, we finally nailed it. I saw him in follow-up today, and I'm so proud to help take care of him. He's doing awesome. He's back almost done with finishing up university classes. He's thriving raising his family and living in a home with his beautiful wife. It's not that he's symptom-free, but he's doing better than I've ever seen him do before. When we talked about his energy pill, he says, Doc, I don't really need it. And that just makes me feel awesome. And I think that we have to celebrate these successes. It's also fair to celebrate a clean MRI. That's a reason for a hug and a, and a high five. Or the fact that we were able to accomplish a task, achieve a promotion, get a raise, successfully go on a trip with family. These are all reasons for celebration, and we have every right to celebrate them. Also in clinic today, I saw a young man in his early 40s. His MS thinks I'm a joke and has not responded to the most aggressive lotions and potions that I know about. I'm talking about chemotherapeutic induction, cytoxin, rituxan, tysabri. We've thrown the kitchen sink at this guy's MS, and it has been unrelenting. He has progressively lost function and lost function. And he's in a chair and can't move from his waist down. He's now losing function in his hands, and it breaks my heart. And I sat in clinic with him today, and we grieved. And we're allowed to grieve. This is not a nice condition. And there are many times where we might not win. It's a constant changing battle as the disease changes and as we age. And I want to leave us, I guess, with the following message. It is fair, it is appropriate, it is correct to grieve loss. That could be the loss of your ability to play the guitar. It could be the loss of your arm function. It could be the loss of the ability to wear high heel shoes or to be able to dance. It could be the loss of the ability to work or to drive or to walk. We also must celebrate the small successes and the big successes. And those can be successfully tackling depression or successfully overcoming fatigue or improving bladder function or improving the quality of our sleep or achieving that promotion or making it on a family vacation. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Aaron Boster, and I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments, so please leave them below. I look forward to reading them. If you'd like to hear more content from me, please take a second and subscribe to the channel. And until my next video, take care.